starting. Starting. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Merrill from Donna Merrill Buzz and today I am so excited to have Matt Wolf here with me today. He's a busy guy and he is in the middle of a launch right now and he's graciously accepted my invitation to spend some time with me. So without further ado, here is Matt Wolf. Matt, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. Well, first of all, thanks for doing this and thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. And, you know, always enjoy the opportunity to, to chat with like-minded people. So I'm excited to do this. So um, a little bit about myself. Um, I got into the internet marketing world, the blogging world in about 2007 or so. I started my first blog, um, kind of really taught myself the whole blogging world and content marketing and um, and, and built up a blog to, to a, a pretty successful income gen generator for me. Um, did that for several years and then had a few people ask me kind of how I, how I got into blogging, how I started it, how I started making money with blogging. Built a course that became uh, learntoblog.com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> learntoblog.com. Um, it, it grew and grew. Uh, we, we, we grew it into something like, you know, five, 6,000 members. Um, and then recently, within the last uh, about four months ago, I actually sold my stake and learned to blog um, to my partner. He bought me out on it. And then I partnered up with Josh Bartlett, and we created our Facebook course. So that's the real quick Cliff that's Notes quick, version of it. Quick version um, of who you are and what you do. And, I mean, I'm a blogger. I love to blog. Um, and... Um, you know, it's wonderful, but, you know, I find that bloggers get stuck in just blogging, and then they they, they have to up their game to start, you know, selling, and uh -huh. that's where Facebook comes in, and that's what I'm doing, and um, I'm kind of new at it, so I'm still like, you know, trial and error, trial and error, and that's why <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, you spend more money on trial and error, and more time, and, you know, time is oh, yeah, money, <laughs> so I... I, I I loved it when you came out with this course and you teamed up with Josh Bartlett, um, who was also a wonderful person. So um, I mean, I really love it, and I know that bloggers and and a lot of people are so afraid of doing a Facebook ad. You know, oh, yeah. I, I tell them yeah. I say, you know, just do the ad. It's like it's cheap, and they're like, oh no, it's expensive. I don't know where they're getting that information from. But if you know what you're doing. You know, your ROI is great. So can we talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, between Josh and myself, you know, since we've started running our businesses, um, combined we've spent over a million dollars on advertising. Um, Learn to blog alone, I think we spent about $200,000 in Facebook advertising alone last year. So we kind of really dialed it in, really kind of figured out what works, what doesn't. But the beautiful thing about ads is you can start with as small or as large of a budget as you want. So you can start with $5 a day and start testing what works. And, you know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll go out and they'll spend money on these courses and they'll spend money on, on coaches and training and all sorts of stuff, but they're afraid to go and just drop 5 to $10 on Facebook ads just to, to start getting traffic. And that's kind of what we teach in the course is we start off with the very basics. We start off with how can you go and spend, you know, $5 today and start getting little trickles of traffic just so you can see that it works. You know, spend $5, spend $10, see some traffic coming in. Once you start seeing results from it, then you start to scale up. Then you start to, to add new targets, start to test different images, but just get something going. You know, spend that little bit, spend that 5 or $10 just to, just to start seeing some quick results and then start to scale up. So Facebook ads really don't have to be scary. You know, if you if you put five dollars in and you get zero clicks, you just turn that ad off and try again. You know, the next day. Yeah, you know, I've done so that. <laughs> it's, um, it doesn't have to be as scary as, as most people think it is. You know, so uh, that's that's kind of the, the the core training is the very basics. That's kind of the the first section that you'll go through in the course. And then once you get that, there's a, a second section in the course that dives into the the deeper scaling type stuff. Um, we dive into if you want to promote affiliate products, here's the proper way to do it. You know, if you want to run webinars, here's the proper way to get traffic to webinars. Um, we dive a little bit into um, 
how to get organic reach because that's kind of been a big topic lately is that nobody seems to get organic reach. Oh, that's Facebook. the big complaint. <laughs> the big complaint is I don't get organic reach. And, I, you know, every time I boost a blog post for five bucks, I get a huge organic reach. I mean, five dollars once a week. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I run it for like a day and I get a huge organic reach uh, if, if you know how to do it. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of people don't know how to do that, don't know what to put on top, don't know, don't know the image, don't know, you know. And, and people yeah. tell me, oh, I did this. And I said, you're only supposed to have 20% on your image. <laughs> yeah, this. yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely still some free ways to get people clicking back to your site through Facebook. <laughs> you can do things like uh, Facebook is really pushing their video platform right now. They really, really want people posting videos on Facebook right now. So mm -hmm. by posting videos, they're going to give you a little bit extra of a boost because you're posting videos. And they want to turn into a video platform. They're kind of coming after YouTube a little bit. Yeah. So if you're posting videos, they're going to give you a little extra boost. It's going to go a little bit farther with those videos. Um, some uh, One of the, the parts of our course we call the Brain Trust Interviews, where I bring in all sorts of guest experts from Facebook. I brought, I brought in, um, you know, I, I don't know how many people know some of these names, but I brought in <laughs> Kurt Molly and Mario Brown and uh, uh, Sean Vossler, who's really, really smart with organic engagement. And they've all, you know, there's seven or eight of these guys in there. And they've all given me just tons and tons of tips that I've went and shared with everybody in the members area. And one of the, the ideas that Sean Vossler shared that I thought was pretty smart is if you want to get more organic engagement in Facebook, you can actually go and open up chats with people who follow you. Because if you're actually chatting, you know, the little direct message thing in Facebook, if oh, you're yeah. actually chatting with people in Facebook, well, Facebook assumes those people are close friends with you. And they start to see more and more of your posts. Oh, so you I like little, that. Kind of little sneaky things like that, where you just you start engaging with people outside of your newsfeed and in their little chat system, and Facebook starts to see those people as closer friends and starts to show those people more of your stuff. Well, so that's there's little good. kind of things like that that you can do to that's get your good to know. Reach up. That's good to know because I'm always chatting. I got a blabber mouth, and I'm always chatting and talking to people, and people are always, you know, contacting me, and we do chats back and forth a lot of times. So. That's awesome to know, especially for you know. I didn't know that, but yeah. um, I'll keep on. I'll keep on engaging there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another thing, Facebook doesn't like you to just post links straight up in your you know in your post. So avoid posting links. If you're posting videos, if you're posting images, what you want to do is post those and then in the comments put the links to whatever you're trying to promote to. Uh, little stuff like that will help you actually get better organic reach. Exactly, um, and I do. I do everything from my page. And, um, and, and I feel like, you know, because I'm safe there. And, and I don't want to get put in Facebook jail. And I see many people getting into Facebook jail because they're just putting it on their regular, you know, Facebook. And uh -huh. it's like, buy this, buy this. And it's <laughs> like, and, I, and I, go, I go and I say, don't do that. Go on your page. I don't have a page. I say, well, you're going to go to jail. And they go to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a good way to get your your personal friends and family to stop paying attention to you too. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, no, I blocked my whole family, so that's a good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but yeah, the, the the course has all sorts of stuff like that. I, I you know I have to disclaim the majority of the focus on the course is the paid side of things. It is the advertising. It is uh, you know boosting posts and the proper ways to run ads and using the, um, you know, the Facebook, oh, why am I drawing a blank, ads manager, using the Facebook ads manager, that type of stuff. Uh, it, it is focused mostly on that, but we do dive into some organic little tips and tricks to help you get more reach that way. That's awesome. And I, and I especially like the retargeting pixel um, oh, that yes. you talk about. Yes. That that's a heck of a lot of fun. Um, I, I goofed up on that a couple of times, so I, <laughs> I'm doing this course <laughs> because you know there's never enough to learn. You know when you, especially in Facebook, and they change things all the time. And um, and I always tell my students, you know, you got to keep up with it. You got to, you know, and even if you don't want to listen to me, you know, just go on Facebook and 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 watch what they're doing. You know, yeah. because you know it's important to know, and um, you know. It, I find that I've done a lot of ROI with my Facebook ads, and um, not that I'm doing like a bazillion dollars yet, uh, but you know, it's all a bunch. It's all a matter of scaling. It's all a matter, you know, Absolutely. trial yeah. error and um, A/B split testing, blah blah blah. And people get so scared about that when it's really yeah. so simple to do. And I am not a techie. 
at all. Uh, <laughs> I am totally right brained. Um, but, and I tell them it's so easy, just push a couple buttons and, you know, get your content in there. And, you know, but it, doing it right is important. That That's the important thing. And that's what I love about this course you're doing. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I, the retargeting stuff, I mean, that is. That is probably the, the core of what we teach because retargeting is so powerful. You have the opportunity to, if, if somebody comes to your blog, they have a little bit of exposure to you. They start to get that no like, and trust factor from mm -hmm. you because they've read your content on your blog. Now all of a sudden they're seeing your ads for what else you have to offer all over Facebook. And it's very inexpensive because it's super highly targeted traffic. So mm -hmm. I love, I love, love retargeting and you know, the majority of the income we actually generate from Facebook ads comes from our retargeting efforts. Which so it's, um, it's, it's, it's such a cool time to be in marketing and to, to do that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it, I think there's no other place but Facebook right now to market. Um, yeah, you know, absolutely. people do solo ads and they do this and that. But Facebook right now is hot and uh, it's been hot and I think it's going to get better. Um, absolutely. And people are like, oh, i got to pay to play here. I was like, well, if you're a marketer, you know, unless you want to talk to your grandmother. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> There's less and less places there these days where, you, where you're not going to have to put a little investment in there to, to get the traffic. I mean, you can, you can focus on SEO and, and stuff like that, but that's kind of, I mean, I've never been a big fan of SEO because mm -hmm. Google changes the rules so often. Yes. You, you know, something can rank one day and two weeks later it could crush your business if they change the rules. So, you know, I, I just, I don't like playing in that arena. I like, I like control of the traffic coming into what I'm doing. Oh, so do I. I like, I'm a big control freak when it comes to that. And I like my targeted traffic, you know, or yeah, people absolutely. who know me. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's great when people learn this and um, your product is fantastic. And Thank especially you so that you, you are, um, you know, partnering with um, Josh Bartlett, who unfortunately we couldn't get on here because of time zone differences, but you know that's fine. But I just want to give him a shout out also for doing this. Yeah, I believe it's about two a.m. where Josh is, or two forty-five where Josh is right now. So, yeah, so it's like uh, let him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but um, you know we we appreciate it, and Josh and I we we partnered up. This is actually the second time we partnered up. We partnered up once uh, four or five years ago. Had some great success with a, a little program we put together back then. Um, kind of phased it out, and now we're back together again, and um, we're, we we have plans to to do a lot more of this kind of stuff together. And I love the beyond the hype. Um, <laughs> I love that. Uh, had to come up with that one because I I love that beyond the hype because there's so much hype out there. When I seen that, I was like, wow, that's genius. I mean, yeah, I the, uh, the the beyond the hype brand. We actually we actually purchased the domain name. And trademarked the the actual brand name back in 2011, mm. um, and then we kind of never did anything with it. We just thought it was a kind of a, a cool name, a cool brand, kind of represented what we stood for in the industry. It represented, um, you know, it, it it pretty much was what we believed in. You know, not not going overboard with hypey stuff. Just here's what you're going to get. Here's what it's going to do for you. That's how we market. And so we we bought the brand back in 2011, and then just kind of shelved it and forgot about it. And then when it came time when I was uh, in the process of selling Learn to Blog, we decided, hey, let's, let's go back to this brand, ramp it up, let's, let's do something with this. So we created our podcast, we created our blog, and then Beyond the Hype's kind of the umbrella company of our training courses that we've been creating. Oh, I love it. And um, I, I like what it says because I, I, I'm pretty straightforward myself, and that's why I do interviews because I like my followers and friends to get that know, like, and trust value because – some people don't know who you are. So, you know, this is a great way to see you. And I always say that video is a virtual handshake, and yeah. which is. It's a virtual handshake. People see you, and they and they really get that know, like, and trust value. And, you know, so that's why Absolutely. I was, like, so excited when you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love doing videos. I love doing interviews. I'm trying to, trying to do more of them this year. And, um, you know, I, I appreciate everybody who gives me the opportunities. So, oh, you know, great. I love it. That's great. I was like, oh, my God, is he actually going to really come to me? Uh, you know, I was like, yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much. I don't want to take any more of your time. I always keep these things to 15 minutes, but um, I will put links below, and I'll also put it on my Donna Merrill Tribe Buzz blog, and, um, of course, I'll be doing some Facebook ads. Uh, awesome. <laughs> well, it was great to meet you, and I'm so glad. You too. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Okay. I appreciate bye. you doing this. Thanks again. Okay. Bye. Bye.